Chris's mother, Sharonda Coleman Singleton, was killed. She was 45 years old. One of nine victims fatally shot in the church massacre. I try to think that it was her time to go. And the way she went was very terrible, but if I just sit there and just think all day about how someone killed my mom, that would just make me go insane. Confirmed it is a suspect who was to shooting. We have just learned the suspect, 21-year-old Dylan Roof, has been caught in North Carolina. 14 hours after the shooting, a 21-year-old white male was arrested. Officials say the shooter sat in the Bible study for one hour before opening fire with a 45 caliber handgun, stopping to reload several times. He reportedly said his motive was to start a race war. He has been charged with nine counts of murder and indicted on federal charges for a hate crime. I've had to make statements like this too many times. Communities like this have had to endure tragedies like this too many times. Less than 24 hours after his mother was killed, Chris and his sister attended a vigil at Goose Creek High School where their mother was a track coach. We already forgive him for what he's done. And there's nothing but love from our side of the family. You just said you already forgive Dylan Roos. Yes. The man who killed your mother. Yes, ma'am. We already forgive him. I was nervous because I didn't really want to say, I didn't want to speak for all the families because I know everybody was still hurting. But that's what, it was just on my heart that I should probably say that. Why is that? I chose to forgive him because that's what my mom would do. At first, I was like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, seriously? And then after a while, I, um, like I said, I prayed on it and I thought about it and I was like, maybe this is best because it's just like a really bad feeling to be like consumed with like hatred. I didn't really want there to be, because you know how there's, there's, there's been riots and stuff like that. I really didn't want that to happen. In the past year, this was the response to what happened in Ferguson, Missouri, and Baltimore, Maryland. I just want to make sure that everybody stays together as a city. So just before 10 p.m. on June 18th, the day after his mother was murdered, Chris Singleton, surrounded by his baseball team, had a message for the city and the nation. We've come together as a community, try to get past these things. You know, a tragedy has happened, but life's going to go on and things will get better. I just say love is always stronger than hate. So if we just love the way my mom would, then the hate won't be anywhere close to what love is. I remember thinking that I don't know that I would be that strong, and I definitely wouldn't have been at 19. But those are the things that his mother had embedded in him. What do you think your mom's thinking about that? She's smiling from ear to ear. Huge smile right now. That's all I, that's what I keep running through the back of my mind. I saw his mom in him that day. It was his mom talking. It had to be. I think we all forgave at that moment because it was hard not to for him. If he can say it, it's been very selfish for me or any of us to say we don't. Love is stronger than hate. That was Chris Singleton's message. And the holy city responded. I feel inspired. This showing here should be contagious and infectious across the nation. We're not going to tolerate this kind of violence anymore. It was amazing. There were so many people coming together, black, white, Mexican, Asian. If he was trying to start a racial war, he didn't accomplish that at all. He just brought us together even more than we were before. The alleged killer could not imagine how the city of Charleston, how the state of South Carolina, how the United States of America would respond 
not merely with revulsion at his evil act, but with big hearted generosity. And then this. The Confederate flag, which had flown at the South Carolina State House since 1962, was taken down permanently. It's June 30th, five days after his mother's funeral. When I'm out there, I'm definitely going to be thinking about her, thinking about if she was out in the stands cheering me on. Chris Singleton is on his way to the baseball field, the same field where he delivered his message of love to a city and a nation. There's never been a game that I want to do so well in my life. I've never been as nervous as I was for that game. He steps on the field like he has so many times before. But this time, it's different. Awesome. 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 